Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Three Under Par Podcast. This is a golf podcast where Little White Ball is live. I'm your host, Scotty T, and I'm joined by my co host, T Bone, KJ. What's up, boys? Killing it. Doing all right? Sure. Sure. T Bone, how's uh, it's not quarantine life because we're here in Houston. It's been hit pretty hard by the coronavirus, COVID 19, whichever term you prefer. But how's social distancing going for y'all? Not full quarantine yet. We're close. It's weird. I uh, I don't really know what to do. Good insight, too. <laughs> KJ, how about you? I mean, do you have anything else to report? It's Sunday. <laughs> well, it's been a I was really sitting slow, on my couch. I didn't know what to week. watch. I've played golf the last four days in a row, so I haven't. I guess it's kind of social distancing. Yeah, it, it counts. It's yeah. social distancing. I mean, you're outside, so it's not like. I feel like I got a better chance of getting it right now than I did uh, on the golf course. <laughs> right. Yeah. <it's laughs> Why? Because we're so close we're to so each close other. We're so close, and we probably right all use these microphones, and they're now like three inches away from my face. We have, because <laughs> I don't have like a specific microphone for each person, so. It's all good. It's a rotating microphone, but hey, glad you're here. Glad you could join us. The world has come to a stop with this COVID-19 coronavirus this is a golf podcast, so we're going to relate everything to golf. Dallas is now in a shutdown. Yep. Houston is probably not too far behind, at least at the time of this recording, around 5 o'clock on Monday, March 23rd. Let's see. What else? The bachelor party is supposed to be this weekend for me. Don't know if that's going to happen either. <laughs> we were just looking into that. I was really excited, doing like some sort of draft between us, getting the boys out there. We'll see if that's going to happen. I don't know. We we're going to go to the match play. We, most importantly, we we're going to go to the match play. That's the thing. This whole Austin trip idea was surrounded by the match play. Like That was the focal point of, of us going. Fortunately, it's not going to happen. So that's why you'll see us drinking some claws this episode. Cut the check, white claw. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it's, um, man, weird times that we're in, KJ. Cheers, my man. T-Bone. Not I guess really I missed one. the memo on that. <laughs> Well, KJ walks in because we're at my place in Houston, Texas, and KJ walks in. And he's like, "Hey, I got a couple warm white claws, straight out of the golf bag from yesterday." Ooh. Usually, I never finish a round with extra white claws because they're just like water. But I had two extra white claws, so put them straight in the freezer. And then I was like, "KJ, we got some cold ones in the fridge, man. Like, yeah, we'll just swap them out. Swap them out." All right, boys. Follow us on social media at Three Hundred Par Pod. That is the number three Three Hundred Par Pod. Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe, rate, and review. If you're here on YouTube, welcome. Glad you're here. Click that subscribe button. We got a nice little catalog of videos that are going up on YouTube now. At least once a week, we will upload the podcast episodes. And then hopefully, if we have time, cut clips, do golf course reviews, uh, anything in between. KJ, I still need to get our video up of us playing the South 4 ball. I was getting those videos put together. And You took videos during that? Yeah, I took a few videos. Oh, God, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't nothing but a thing. It's a good time. I don't know if he's still in the shot, but Lopez is in the shot in the corner. Sub Lopez, roommate, he was on the episode last week. Go check that out. That's going to be in the corner right up there. So, boys, uh, any news in the golf world? What's been catching y'all attention? Because, again, man, it's been a slow week. T-Bone, you're still living at home, right? How's quarantine life with the parents? That's good. Uh, thanks for putting that on YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's good. As soon as I said that, I was like, ah, oh, no. Uh, it's good. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> Do you want me to cut that or no? No, it's, it's genuine. That's who I am. Let's let it rip. Open uh, curtain, baby. <laughs> See, we're just trying to be real with the audience out there. Glad you're here. Glad you tuned in. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Um, it's good. I, uh, I've been, I've never worn t-shirts so many days in a row. Or I feel like I'm in college again. Mm. Just like I you don't still know. Have it's... any like the old fraternity t-shirts or? No, I got of rid of most of those. I put things. like forty of those in a bag. Because I was going to give them away, and I don't know what happened to it, but then I realized, like, if this toilet paper shit is real, I have <laughs> so much toilet paper <laughs> from sorority shirts from college, like, just, I'm not worried about it at all. Yeah. At all. 
I remember when I left college, I just like threw a bunch of all the shirts and just left them in an empty house. I was like, somebody will pick it up, somebody will burn it or whatever. Not really my problem anymore. But yeah, it's all right. So home going well, not good. How are the rents? They're good. Yeah. I spent we're, a lot of time uh, in the man cave. Yeah, we're hanging out. Time in the man cave. Have you played um, any golf? Because as we mentioned, golf is really like the only sport that you can play with social distancing yourself. Uh, quote unquote social distancing. Have you gotten the chance to play at all? Not tennis. No, I haven't played <laughs> golf. I haven't done anything. I, I'm just so bummed that we'll get to this, but the Masters. Yes. That's. I'm just going to leave it at that. Conversation for today. Yep. yep. I, I don't. I really don't have anything to report. I'm just not doing shit. <laughs> I'm. Uh, played, I hope your boss listens. <laughs> <laughs> I've played tennis a little bit. I am working, but it's just the same routine every day, and I'm not not a fan. Yeah, KJ, how about you, man? You said you played four times in a row. How's the game looking? I did, and and one of those nights I played TrackMan golf to like probably three o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, it's all oh, the DMs. Quick side note: a buddy of I'm mine just, just got a TrackMan. Um, loyal listener. Who's that? Uh, Mr. Tolson. Oh yeah. Um, he got a. Tr- uh, really, he got a full on TrackMan. Uh, I don't know if it's TrackMan, but it's a good setup. Like a good, a good yeah. simulator, or whatever. Yep. Shout out to. I Mr. Tolson. Mr. Tolson. Yeah. We, we, I don't need his first and last. So that's all I've done. I've, I was just, Usually it's first names only, not... All right, whatever. Whatever. Okay. I'll be all right. All right. So but, four uh, times in a week, KJ. Yeah. Played... Uh, at the Stone, right? Shout out to And also played a tournament on Sunday. I believe... Was it Sunday? No. Maybe that was last week. Out the weather was crap this weekend, Cypress man. Wood. I know. We hit it in between weather. And oh, Saturday, it was cart path only for two of the rounds. But I got to play a lot of golf. We played a tournament, the Green Beer Tournament, out at Cypress Wood, which was... I think that was two weeks ago. I think it was... It wasn't, it wasn't yesterday. It was the Sunday before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun. We came in second, um, as usual, out at Cypress Wood. Okay, that's... We always have <laughs> some person that is either sitting by the, uh, sitting by the, um, the leaderboard that waits to turn in their scorecard to find out somebody shot 53, so they turn into 52, which... It's kind of what happened this round. You've been there on a couple of those when we've got. It's unbelievable, man. We've gotten scooped by one or two, but you know it's, it's, it's all good. Sucks. Okay, I got a I got a new pair of golf shoes out of it. So that there was you good. go. Yeah. One of my buddies asked me one time, like about four man scramble tournaments or whatever. He was like, "How do those go out? Do you love playing in those?" I was like, "Absolutely! Like you go have some beers, friendships. It's generally a good time." And then he's like, "Do you win?" And I go, "Well." I, I don't lose four man scramble yes. tournaments, especially like when KJ and I and th- we'll throw in T Bone in there too. Sup, dude? Like all of us are good players. We generally don't lose four man scrambled golf tournaments when we're all paired together. It it's is what it it's is. Very true. It, it's gotten to the point where I go to those tournaments and you know I'm not gonna pencil whip anybody, so I yeah. just don't keep score at all. I'll let somebody else keep score to write down, you know, and everything. And sometimes you'll play with a new guy. He's like, oh, that's good. And you're just like, uh, yeah, it kind of makes you feel uneasy. But you know everybody out there is pencil whipping. 100%. And for some reason, like, I think because our games complement so well from each other, like, I'm not the best driver off the tee, but I'm pretty good with the short game. And I'll make putts out there. And as long as KJ can knock it in the – knock it close to the green, I'll generally make the putt or – Something like that. Same with T-Bone. Yeah. Like, well, like ham and eggs. Exactly. I agree. Except for Cypress Point. <laughs> Cypress for Wood. C- Cypress Wood. Whatever. Cypress Not Cypress Point. Point. <laughs> Gosh, wouldn't that be nice if it was Cypress Point? Cypress I'd be Wood totally be- cool to get stomped at Cypress Point. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't win. I'm good. <laughs> that would be awesome. So, yeah. There's something about Cypress Wood, man. People pencil with the scorecard. Literally, we have seen groups wait until we turn in the scorecard, and then they turn in yeah. right after, and they beat us by one. It's happened at least twice. It's kind of the point where the great thing about these Cypress Wood tournaments, I mean, they're they're very inexpensive and they give you free beer. So one, yep. I'm on board. Like, definitely, I'm getting, I'm drinking them like they're losing money on me. Like I definitely yep. drink that much worth of, and then they feed you barbecue at the end, which is fun. But every single tournament, somebody pins and whips. But they are starting a master disaster tournament. I saw that April fifth. Looks pretty good. We're trying to get a team together. I wish I wouldn't have said that right in front of T-Bone because we got one spot left. I think it's going to you. <laughs> uh, just a little. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I've, T-Bone. I've actually been already recruited on a team, so Are you going? maybe I'll see you guys you at playing? the maybe I'll see you guys at the uh, the we're scorecard be, table. I'll, I'll turn to my scorecard other. after you guys. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Ah, there here it we is. Go. <laughs> what a guy. Man, so some PJ Tour news has come out. They canceled more tournaments. PGA Championship is going to be rescheduled or postponed now. I don't even know. When they say postpone, I think they're just keeping the door open. Last week I was on board. I think the Masters. Okay, let's talk about the Masters first. Be- well, because so Byron Nelson – few others South Park. yeah those are all Match canceled play. now yeah. all the way up until the pga championship and the pga championship is postponed now no golf until may 19th ish somewhere around there which all right that is two months of no pga tour tournament so we're going to have to get creative fellas in terms of content that we can do hopefully if you follow us on social media you'll see some trick shots we've been doing around my house it's a good time but let's talk masters Roommates, we posed this question with my roommates last week. Do y'all think the Masters is going to happen in 2020? So we'll go ahead and launch the golf gossip section here. Yep. So the report that most people saw is that Augusta National was contacting residents in the area for a weekend in October to um, see, I guess, during the Masters, normally they give up their homes for people to rent out and stuff yes and i think they contacted the augusta school board to extend their fall break because they need that like too. volunteers yeah so that could be something that could be a total rumor for sure but it makes me really excited because if that does happen we'll have two masters within six or seven months of each other that which would true. be pretty pretty awesome this might actually turn out to be the best thing that ever happened if we can get masters and not have to wait another 360 thing, days to another, see another one. Another thing I'll point out is that okay. although it sucks, it's getting pushed back. At least Tiger won. What if it was Patrick Reed or Danny oh, Willett that won? We had to won? sit on that. Yeah. Basically, we have to. That'd be like sitting on a loss. Yeah. He wins. It'd be like <laughs> yeah. sitting on an L and you can't play that person again. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So all things considered, it could be worse. I'm. I'm gonna keep the dream alive. I think it'll happen. Another side note, a few weeks ago, uh, Jack Nicholas was on Sports Center or some show. I think it's Sports Center, and he said he doesn't think it's going to happen. Correct. Which is a bummer. And he, I think he knows about golf. Just a little bit. I don't know. So <laughs> that sucks. But one thing I was – we can open this up for just a question. Yeah. The We've been talking about the Houston Open for a while. Correct. And I know we've had a listener who works for the Houston Open. Or, sorry, a, a guest. A guest who works for the Houston a Open. A full-on guest. So, I hate to... Shout out to Eric. Yeah. It's been a while. we got to get you back on, bro. Now I'm phrasing this question. I feel really bad. Oh, no. But would you sacrifice the Houston Open for the Masters? Yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. Right, yeah. That was, that was way too easy. <laughs> okay. <that>. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, Eric. You got some loyal. Uh, well, <laughs> love it, and I'm glad it's going to be a memorial. I think that'll be a yes. lot more fun to walk. Um, but, I mean, there's nothing that compares to Masters. So that's in November, so I think we'll be safe. But do you think there's other tournaments that will be open to canceling your spot? Like, who's going to be the guy? They and be like, oh, we're the Masters, so I'm about to say, you're out of here. I don't think they have a choice. Like, it's the Gus and National membership. They really have no affiliation with the PGA Tour. They set their date, and, like, yes, they work together, but they don't owe the PGA Tour really anything. They have, right? If you, if you have two tournaments on the schedule, guess which one the players are going to pick. Like, that's when they have, be. I don't know what major it is, but it's some major in, like, the Barracuda Championship. Yeah, or it the, is. Or the Barbasol. I think those are the two tournaments that are always Ooh, yeah. during a major. Right. So. No. Uh, is it Barracuda that's the week of the Open Championship? There's, there's like one in Playa and there's one in uh, – oh, Where's the other one? Because they have their – it's the off week Yeah. during the WGC. The saw I thought was a senior deal. Maybe no, not. That's the one know. in Alabama. I don't know. Anyway. Who gives a shit? It's the Masters. Yeah, exactly. So Last we week, don't even know the other one. You're right. It doesn't matter. Last week, I was on the train that it's going to happen. I'm becoming more and more pessimistic, I think, unfortunately. 
Ugh. It's just, it hurts because I want the Masters. You can't really see, but I like, I started putting on my Masters gear right behind the camera because hopefully we'll do a Masters parody video in honor of the Masters should be happening, similar to what we did last year. I, last year we did just the audio. I, but, I even said when I walked in, like putting all that stuff up here. and knowing what's going on. I got my Masters koozie right here. Like that's literally putting up the Christmas tree and then Christmas getting canceled. The worst thing? Like it makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It was very debatable for me to even put it up, but I got just way too happy this afternoon, and I was really bored. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody's boss is listening I really right now. I haven't been doing anything. Outside, anything. I was <laughs> bored. But, <laughs> did my job today, but uh, it's just it sucks, man. It's weird times, unprecedented times. Uh, you know, depending on what news source or outlet or whatever you're into, there's always good news and bad news of this whole virus thing that's going around. Bottom line, though, it sucks that golf is being canceled. It's good, though, that we can still play. Like, I was playing on Thursday at Memorial Park. I've actually gotten to play that twice now in the last couple of weeks. And the course is a lot tougher than what is beforehand. I noticed, though, that there were no rakes out there. They took up and picked up all the rakes. So if you hit it because they didn't want multiple people touching the rakes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Same thing out at Hearthstone. Did they do that no ball stone? washers, no scorecards, right. no pencils, uh, like no anything. The only thing that you could do is get in the golf cart. You touch like, the pin? All, all the no. They turned the pins upside down and they had it was weird. So they really? turned like the cups upside down. Okay. And they had like three little things coming off of it. So the bottom of the hole was like that deep. Huh. But there was in the center there was a little circle like that. So if you right. hit it in with decent speed or holding speed, it would still hit that or hit the pin and go in. Okay. And it wouldn't lip out. But you just didn't have to touch the pin was the whole point. You didn't have to reach your hand in there. Like the ball was almost sticking above the interesting above the hole. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I've seen Pinehurst. They put like another PVC pipe halfway th up through the cup so you can – it doesn't go all the way down. You can just pick it you – know, only only touch your ball coming in. Uh, you know, golf, they're doing the – they're doing whatever they can do to stay open because I think they recognize there's a lot of golf – outside of golf, there's a lot of – industries that are being crushed by this right and you know golf is still doing good uh go walk get some exercise out there too or i'm just really glad nobody's tagged us in the 10 push-up challenge <laughs> so far that's going on on instagram at the moment so everybody's being canceled pj tours canceled at least through march pga i don't know what the hell that they're gonna do i don't think anybody really cares right now because the pga is probably the fourth least important major in i would assume our minds sorry pga of america but does this affect the Ryder cup even at some point even though the pga does control the Ryder cup like people care about that yeah i don't know is the olympics gonna happen these are unprecedented times. There's no way to anybody for, to speculate yeah. when, we how, anything. So We don't know. So comment below what you think is going to happen or send us an email, DMs, of what you think is going to happen. So what are these golfers doing to pass the time? I don't even know if this is like a segment. It's not really golf gossip, but a lot of people are playing left-handed at the moment. How about that? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it honestly reminds me of the foreplay guys. Uh, Frankie Borelli, he – they like throughout the hypothetical could Roy McIlroy beat frankly he's left-handed could Roy beat him left-handed and so then you got JT yeah. and Ricky going out and playing Ricky oh, was shoots, interesting Ricky shoots like 94 or something like that lefty Is and it I think this would this would be 94. actually something great for us three to do because I've seen your your swing left-handed and it's better than your right-handed swing I agree and your swing left-handed is pretty damn good really so, yeah I think we could actually – your contact in there, but yeah. I think we should actually, us three, go out and shoot. And play left-handed? Yeah, just, just play around left-handed. Oh, boy. Stre stream, it for the, stream it for the listeners. It'll bring yeah. – you want to talk about the ultimate handicap, bring T-Bone to our level, and we just go from there. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we can let people choose and maybe a, maybe a prize for the winners. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I think I think we should make it happen. Look, if the bachelor party ain't happening this weekend, we can go play golf left-handed. We we all did request off Friday, so that is true. And we just, we just need a lot of beer. If that's the case, we got it covered. We got we're good. <laughs> White claws. I also beer, don't whiskey. know if I want a full eighteen playing lefty. That could maybe we should do maybe we should do nine lefty and then nine righty. Put them together. 
That's a See, lot of clubs. How does that work? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, okay. I don't know. So how many shots lower would you shoot right-handed than you would left-handed? I think I could probably shoot about. I think I could probably shoot about fifty right or lefty. Really? Yeah. I think I could. If we're not. If we're not. We're not playing from the tips, lefty, are we? Uh, we'll we'll go senior tees. If we so sixty-two. I think I'd probably 100? shoot about fifty. Fifty? Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know about that. I've hit some shots lefty. Quite actually, quite a bit shots lefty. Yeah. And it's never like the only problem with lefty is. Yes, you're going to have those drives where it's just like, fuck, there's no chance of finding that one. Yeah. But it's stopping the balls on the green. Like, if you have something where there's something behind the green and in front of the green, it's no issue. Hitting a ball lefty that way is not an issue. It's right. getting it to stop or getting the trajectory, getting like the Like, if you're in a bunker and oh, you got to hit a high soft just, one, like, just, no chance. Yeah. It's, it's not going to happen. That's the tough part. So, if you just dink it down the fairway like a 90-year-old man, it's actually somewhat doable. I mean, any shot, uh, 150 over water. It's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's gap wedge, gap wedge. Yeah. <laughs> lay gap up. Wedge you got to lay up. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, let's do that this weekend. Let's do it. Go play nine holes, left-handed. So, okay, so you think you would beat... How are we going to do that? We're going to have to decide on a set of clubs. Who has lefty clubs? My roommate. Nice. Oh. I don't know if Please he let tell us me use... they're like game improvement cavity backs. They're... <laughs> Please tell me he's not good. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it a set of Wilsons? Oh, oh goodness. shit, yeah. We're no, going to get it. <laughs> not... <laughs> oh, my gosh. All <laughs> right. I'm going to change that to 65. Not, <laughs> not championship golf. Wilson is not good. So, <laughs> shout out to Lopez over there. Uh, okay, so you think... 50 on nine holes, playing from the whites. We're going to have to figure out golf clubs, though, but yes. Uh, so we'll place the over-under at 13 and a half shots better. I mean, that's assuming that I'm going to shoot, like, right it, around par righty. I yeah. suck ass righty sometimes, You shot, too. like, four <laughs> under on Sunday. Uh, one of the days, yeah. Yeah. But you shouldn't have told us that before we started recording then. Well. Okay, but you can also sandbag a little bit because you can make your lefty score really higher and just blame it on... Oh, That's I've true. never played left-handed before. Yeah, so, no, but I have. What? So, okay, so do you think you would shoot 15 shots better from lefty to righty? I think I think 13 is a good number. 13? Yeah. All right, we'll place the over-under at 13 and a half. On nine holes? Nine holes. Which T-bone are we going to get? Are yeah, we going to get 89 are we gonna, are we gonna or 71 get 34, T-bone? Are we going to get 34 <laughs> T-bone or 52 T-bone? <laughs> We're talking yeah. about from the right side of the ball, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Just for clarification. <laughs> Is that shit on I the just, T-Bone episode? Yeah, I think so. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, H-O-U hat representing. <laughs> also, Roback hat. Clean. Go check him out. Big fan. KJ finally got his Roback shirt. How, how do you think? You like Slick. it? Love it. Man, it's salty. I've been wearing this out a week because I don't know if... I, I just need a haircut and I don't know if they're open or not. Slash. Probably not a good place to go. Yeah, that's why I haven't gone. So I've been wearing this hat a lot recently, and it's so comfortable. Shout out the Roback, big fan. Back to me. Back to you. I'm thinking it's a it's a free plug because they're friends of the show. I'm thinking 28. Bye, KJ. I'm thinking 28. I'm thinking a 28. 28 shots better. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Why? I think I'll shoot like 68. So you think you'll shoot 68 yeah. lefty? We've hit golf balls upstairs at Golf Smart before. I've seen your lefty swing. Okay. Do you think there's no that way one you of shoot us 68? You don't think unless I just slam fireball down your esophagus the entire <laughs> round. The only way you're going to shoot 68. Like like every shot down. Yeah. And like ball down every time. I mean, I'm there's going to be holes where I cannot finish. Am I, what's my max? Eight, nine. We'll do we'll do we'll do a nine max. No, I want to see a couple tens on the scorecard. I mean, there's no doubt that we're gonna make some tens, Lefty. It's double par. Doable. Yeah. You want to make double par, Max? I like it. Uh, yeah, but I kind of want to see like an eight on a par three or something like that. It's okay, think about the stone, the one that's just a hundred yards. That that can get really That'll chunky. Be tough. You, you, you can get real to, chunky you have real to fast. Just slam over, slam it over the green. Yeah, exactly. Which is no easy up and down. Because then you got to right chip handed. back over towards the water. Yeah. Which so, is that's an easy five. That, dude. I'm thinking that's an easy eight hit in the water once or twice. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You don't yeah. take chances. You just skull it over. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to be around 65. 
Okay, if y'all two are playing, KJ plays a full 18 holes right-handed at Hearthstone, and <laughs> you play nine holes left-handed, will KJ beat you wow, with that's your scores? Cool. Wait, I play 18 holes right-handed? Yeah, just like ball down. We'll even give you preferred lies. That's a great question. Would your, would your 18-hole score beat his nine-hole lefty score? I think, <laughs> I think flipping it would be better. What do you mean? Uh, no, no, oh, fuck no. Never mind. <laughs> I'm mixed up. <laughs> right? Definitely not. Um, I think I would beat him. I don't think you're going to shoot 68 lefty. Uh, I, I have no idea. I've never done this. Think, well, because well, yeah, we here's it. the thing. If he shoots 68 and you're on that day, it's, it comes in the play a little bit. Doable. Yeah. I, I, I just don't I, think I've he's going to be that I've seen him shoot 66 high. at I've Hearthstone. Seen, I've seen him hit golf shots lefty. It's a decent swing. And right. He, it, and he hits the ball forward. So... Wow, that almost sounded like a fucking compliment. <laughs> oh wow, he he, he only Easy. he only gives me compliments on my left-handed swing. <laughs> oh man, hey, so bachelor party, no bachelor party. You want to play golf this weekend? It's happening yeah. either way. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna happen. Lefty clubs. I don't really outside of my roommates. I don't really know any lefties. Do y'all? Shout out the guards. No. Friend got, of the pod, down there. We got a lefty at. Uh, no, they got a lefty at. At HRC, we can get that. We can make that happen. Oh, okay. Nice. I think they're ping I-25, so we're going to definitely hit some shit shots. Oh, boy. We might actually want the Wilsons. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. That way we don't break anything nice. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so they were playing. How about, okay, and then Brooks Kepka hitting a 200-yard 8-iron. Deep. That's... DJ hitting a driver 311 left-handed. Like, these guys are so insanely good. <sighs> Yeah, I don't see it's that tough, happening. Man. No. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Man. That's going to happen on Saturday. We're going to go on Saturday or Sunday. We're going to play golf left-handed. See how we do. Let us know how you think we're going to do. Just to put it in, pull, in full perspective, KJ and I were both about a plus one, zero handicap-ish. What you got now? What, what, what do you got now? Do you I even know? I have no idea. I'd say you're at least a plus one. Uh, I mean, because that's what I am. I, I, I don't know. It depends on if I'm playing you or not. If I'm playing you, I'm a three. I'm going to need some strokes. Okay. <laughs> Says the guy who just hates handicaps in general. I do. I do hate handicaps. So, and then you're probably, what, like a four? I was going to say six. Seven. I'd probably say zero, zero, probably about seven. Because you never know if he's going to shoot a higher. Seven? If he's going to shoot. If no he's gonna way, shoot, dude. Like, when you throw in, like, slope and rating and if everything. You think all of his average between a 70 mm. or 71 to, like, 89 or 90 you shot 90 didn't yeah you? i shot, you 90. shot 90 like it's got to be like it's got to be like 81 82 yeah so that's six seven range which, i would say which, is pretty accurate. which team which uh tees are you playing from you just play like one up right? yeah, yeah one up okay more often than not though that's probably like a 73 slope rating right i don't know it depends on how how hard the courses are so how, how many high 80s numbers do you have at jersey ghettos <laughs> Um, I normally keep it under 85 there. Okay. I, just, I know the course well. All right. So that's what I'm saying. You know, throw in a, like a 71 like you did at 218 yeah. or whatnot. That's what brings your handicap lower. That's how I can see he's having like a four handicap or. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. We should get you a posted like gen score. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that'd be fun. What we should do is we should let the listeners pick our game that us three play this weekend. We'll try to play twice. We're going to do that lefty okay. nine and then righty nine but pick a game between us three and the and the uh and the stakes and the stakes and the handicaps in between and we'll kind of average them and see what we get wow let us know comment below slide in those dms email us too yeah it's good stuff uh so who do you think is the best pj tour like player that would play from the opposite side like seeing Brooks Kepka hit an eight iron two hundred yards. Do you think any of those or like you see J Day, he's done it before. Do you think any of those guys could like legit make it from the other side of the golf ball onto the PJ tour? No. No. If they worked hard enough. No. No. Like Brooks Kepka and he just no. said, Ah, eh, let's blow it all up. Like uh gosh, yeah. what's No. No chance. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right. What's the guy uh an entourage. He's the president of W or of the studio. The guy that hates Vince. And um, then he the like, guy dies of the heart attack. Yeah, Alan. Something. I think yeah. Alan was his name. Yeah. 
And he's like, oh, yeah, I just figured out I was playing for the wrong side of the ball. And Phil Mickelson's playing with them. He, like, swings lefty. And Ari's like, ah, shit. Like, yeah, go. That, that could be them. That could be you. Now, well, uh, man, I think that's all I got, really. Like, so we got some good content coming next week. Because golf is the only thing you can do that's social distancing. Assuming that, do you think golf courses will stay open if the city of Houston shuts down? Like that's, if, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I told you that they put that tournament on for April 5th. Right. If they're going to shut us down, it's not going to be for five days. So I'm assuming it would go at least till up till that weekend. So I don't know. We'll see. I just made a tee time for tomorrow. So hopefully it don't shut down today. Yeah. I don't know. Because what's, uh, what's the phrase that they used? It's not shut down. It's shelter in place. Shelter in place. I've seen a few of these questions going around, but like, if you get quarantined on any golf course, like which golf course would you want to be quarantined at? Garge asked me a great question earlier. Yeah, what was that? So he asked how I felt about the Masters, and I basically melted and told him heartbroken. And um, he said, and I went on to saying, you know, it's the one one tournament. Like, it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm gonna be watching that tournament, whether it be work. Whether yeah. it be somebody advice me to play golf, I'm giving up golf to watch that. And he goes, So where where would it take you to have a tea time for you to not be inside watching the Masters? My immediate reaction was Augusta National, but then that doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> yeah, because it's I, I couldn't actually think of a place that I would rather be playing instead of watching the Masters pretty much any given year. Cause at that course, hmm. you know, the saying is it doesn't it doesn't start till the back nine on Sunday. Anything can happen. Three shot swing, four shot swing, no problem. So it's never like, oh, this is over. Right. You gotta watch it wire to wire. I was watching the 2015 Masters <laughs> today when I was doing some work. Just had it on as background music. Jordan Spieth was the winner that year, which is just yeah, beautiful, beautiful to see. So what I think course, there, there if two, any? There are two courses that come to mind. To, for me, but I would love to hear T Bone's perspective on that, if any. I mean, you played golf on the Masters this year, this past year. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, when they moved it up. We, so, oh my gosh, so that was a horse. nightmare. So Black Horse is the standard for KJ. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so mad. I asked the guy <laughs> who, who was actually that. who actually worked for the company that was putting on the tournament. I actually asked the guy if I could leave and go to the to the halfway house or the uh, the where they were serving lunch. Yep. And I did. I did. I left with three holes early. <laughs> I had no idea they pushed everything up. I thought we were going to get done early. I left three holes early, Great and then I met him for lunch. <laughs> wow. It was unbelievable. That was well, well done. Great <laughs> great callback. I was hoping you forgot that. Uh, like a steel trap on T-Bone. Yeah. You can't um, get anything past him. I think I would be willing to – I'd like there's a handful of just like – historic courses that i would play like st andrews or something and just watch the highlights if i had the chance to play like a really cool course i don't know just i'm not like a huge course guy there's nothing i'm like dying to play but if you threw out just a few historic like okay i'll throw venue. some out your way did you do uh, cypress point yeah cypress point was mm-hmm. the course i was thinking yeah uh shinnecock why would you want to leave disappointed and miss the Masters? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay, so another Shinnecock, Oakmont. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd probably do that. Oakmont, uh, okay. Marion. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do Marion. Marion, okay. Uh, what's the the course that looks... Pine Valley. Yeah. Because Pine Valley is consistently rated the number one course in America. So for me, Pine Valley and Sappers Point would be the only two that I would consider. What about... Um... They hosted a U.S. Open it's in San Francisco. TPC Harding Park. Is that it? No, that was Olympic Club. Yeah, that no. course looks badass. I wouldn't do Olympic Club. I would. I would, I would do Pebble that. Beach though. Like yeah. if it was my first time to play Pebble. Yeah. Honestly, I would do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking okay. about it. Are there any courses in Texas that you would want to include? I still have not played Lochinvar. 
and Me everything either. I've heard about it is phenomenal. So I'd like to play there. You got out there a few months ago, right? Oh yeah, man, money, jerk. Whispering Pines, I think, is the number one course in Texas. You've played out there, right, KJ? I've played it a few times. I, I was fortunate enough to have. Yeah. Um, I was trying to remember how we got out there. I don't know. We got out there a few times, and it was, it was nice. It was a little bit of a drive, but I think Lock and Var is the one that I would really like to play. Okay. Whispering Pines is great. Great facility. Everything was, you know. Is it worthy of the number one course rating <clears throat> in Texas? I can't say that because I haven't played Lock and Var. What are the top courses in Texas? I don't know. This is just no all idea. over the place, but we got really <laughs> yeah. nothing really else to talk about here. We, sh- we, uh, sh- we shouldn't let the leader drink White Claw before we get on air. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> mate. <laughs> cheers. Uh, Whispering Pines, Lock and Var, uh, Vaquero, maybe. I don't know. I just want to play Lock and Brook Var, Hollow. to be honest with you. I would love to play Brook Hollow. Dallas National, number one. Shout out to Lopez. Okay, what else? Whispering Pines, too. Really? Dallas Blue National is one? National. Blue Jack. Ooh, Blue I Jack. That. Yeah. That's Houston. Kind of. Yeah. The clubs at Houston Oaks. They just went over. Hmm. Wait, that, what? Yeah, they did all that renovation. Houston Oaks yeah. is number four? Preston Trail, number five. Oh, I like Preston Trail. Been forced. So Preston Trail is like Lock and Var in Dallas. Been fortunate to play there a couple times. And then Colonial What's six? Escondido and Horseshoe Bay. Yeah. Ugh. Horseshoe Bay, Escondido, for those who can't listen. Shout out to Lopez. Research guy. Lopez, are you producer. Are you willing to be a research guy slash producer now? I don't know if we have the bankroll to uh, put him on. <laughs> oh, man. If we can bankroll him, that would piss Garza off so much. <laughs> Because oh, Garza's right. been like wanting to like he the, the running joke is that he wants to be an investor in three under par and I'm just like no abs- absolutely not so if we bankroll Lopez <laughs> with with Garza <laughs> I love it. and especially since Garza is the downstairs roommate that's just that salt to the wound shout out to Garza I hope you listen but uh, interesting Dallas National that's where like Spieth and Ryan Palmer all those Dallas guys practice um, Whispering Pines yeah. Good stuff. We might have to do another golf course review. Let's do one on Hearthstone this weekend. Just like come back on Monday, part of the pod, do a golf course review. Or is that what we're, honest is that we're playing one of our deals? Uh, yeah. I would assume it's Hearthstone, okay. but where else Where else can we go? Are we going to try to do that at Memorial Park? No. We, I, haven't played that, I haven't played that course. Dude, that, you said it's okay, firm. I we're going to try to hit lefty into firm <laughs> greens. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've so played it twice now, T-Bone. This course is hard. I don't know. You really undersold it, man. That course is money, actually. I thought. Hmm. You don't like it? For another episode, I feel like. What do you think? I mean, we're just spitballing here. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking out loud here. I uh, I don't know if it's money yet. It's Not yet, but the design is good. KJ, we got to get you the play so we can do like a full I saw the design breakdown. and all the, the changes that they made, and I liked what they did, but... I like I'm not gonna go play a golf course that I gotta land it on the front edge of the green every hole. You don't have to. You can get a, you can get away with it. You said they were firm as shit, which yeah, means... they're firm as shit, but they're not like it's not the greens aren't fast, they're firm. So it's like the first kick is firm, but like once it actually catches the grass, so it's, like firm, it slows it up. Full. Yeah, they're kind of sandy when I played. Okay, well, so they're getting a little bit more full. I feel like a lot of the courses in Houston are now that they're overseeding. Because once summer comes and the, if the greens aren't full now, then they'll just die because it gets greens, so hot. Yeah, they got a new greenskeeper out at uh, Hearthstone. Yeah, and I played last week. Last week, and I think they were literally like nine and a half, like nines. It felt like Bear Creek all over again. Yeah, and the members were just losing their minds about it. But I mean, he's doing it for the long run because if you don't if you don't grow them out full and let them grow, they're dead and crusty in the summer. It's not good. Like, it's just going to burn them out no matter how much water you put on them. Right. So. All right, they, boys. They were running good this weekend, though. I think that's all I got. Anything else y'all would like to add? Comments, concerns? So, uh, Ricky BJT, yep. lefty. I would love to see, actually see Brooks versus DJ left-handed. I think that would be a pretty good match as well. Really not, not nothing else new to report here. Jay Monahan is giving up his salary during this time to help 
those tournaments, I think, or the workers who are working those tournaments. A lot of uh, CEOs of big companies like that are doing it, which I think is a good move. And um, it's just, and there's just so much uncertainty right now that all we can do is hopefully just play golf. Just wait and play golf. Little white ball is life, man. Yeah, that's those are facts. This is right, and you know, the show must go on. The economy is probably going to take a huge hit. It already is taking a huge hit. Yep. People are going to lose their jobs. People are going to be furloughed. It's not going to be good. But um, we appreciate you being here, listening to us, watching us here on YouTube. Before we get out of here, click that subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, click that subscribe button. Give this video a like and comment below on how you're doing with all this coronavirus going on. Are you getting to play some golf? What do you think is going to happen with the Masters, PGA Championship? Does that affect any other tournaments like the Olympics, Ryder Cup? There's a lot of unanswered questions right now, which is just kind of stinks. So, and then subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts. Write that review on Apple Podcasts. That way we know we see it. And uh, also, set the over-under for our left-handed Bring it. round this weekend. It's going to be fun, man. I'm excited. I think T- T-Bone definitely low-balled us. I think he's going he to sneak in there. He's going to sneak in like a 56. I think that's fair. 57, somewhere around there. When was the last time he shot? Never mind. I'm not going to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, KJ, like I thought you brought up a good point to me this weekend. You know, I was playing more golf together, especially I think now oh, this is a good time for us to do that, especially since if we can get tee times like a memorial or – Hearthstone, wherever it is, we can get out there a little bit easier now. So I agree with you. Let's play some more golf, boys. Let's get it. Little White Balls Life. Everybody take care. Be safe out there. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, Little White Balls Life.